What is up, everybody? It is your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video once again today. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get that Travis Scott vocal effect right in FS Studio with default plugins. You guys asked it, you requested it because the last video did so well, but you guys wanna know if we can, if I can show you how to do it within FS Studio using nothing but default plugins. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, disclaimer, this is not the exact vocal effect that Travis Scott uses, you know, because that makes Travis Scott who he is. Only he knows that and his engineers know his exact chain. Also, you will not sound like Travis Scott because you're not Travis Scott. So you better make that wish, you know, and throw some coin into the ocean or, or the pool or the wishing well or whatever you call it and make a wish or break the wishbone and blah, blah, blah to become Travis Scott or ask your fairly godparents. And also remember, he manipulates his voice in a certain way. Now, you the best the best way to get the fact the sound the way it should sound is how you manipulate your voice, the sound, the song, the recording, the um the way you, you know, just manipulate everything will definitely give you a better or worse a worse effect depending on what you do i'm just gonna show you the basic effect but you have to really push it yourself and you know make better uh choices when it comes to the artist you always gotta have good mic techniques gotta know when to get back when they're screaming know when to get close when they're quiet how to manipulate the voice when they do dark parts when they do low parts when they do high parts they have to know all those things in order to make this effect the best possible it can so and also, yeah, with third-party plugins, I did a lot better, in my opinion. But I did give a pretty good, you know, pretty good effect with default stuff as well. Also, I want to say this. I was not playing. I was playing around with this uh, recording. I didn't save the last recording from the last video, so I couldn't import it in here and do it that way. But, you know, so this is not as good as the last video. I say, as far as, like, when I, what I was saying, like I said, I was just freestyling, having fun. I didn't write no tracks. I didn't write no lyrics. I just freestyled and had a ball with it. So it's not going to be the best thing possible can be. But definitely remember that when you record it, it will sound better if you actually make a real song that you do it the proper way. So with that being said, let's get right into it and play the effect and then tell you how I got this effect. So I'm about to play it in three, two, one. Be warned. Ear rape coming soon. Ooh. I. No time, I ain't wasting no time. Everybody talking that shit, man, they make it, they line. I ain't gonna waste no time, I ain't gonna waste no time. They can talk all this stuff, man, just make it, they line. I ain't waste time, no time. I ain't waste no time, no time, no time. I ain't waste no time. I ain't wish no time, I ain't wish no time, yeah, yeah, I ain't waste time, no, gonna gotta get it how I go, they be hating no and cop flow, I don't really care what they say, they make us like it and go, they hating on me, I know, and I step up in to kick down your door, step on your couch, fuck that shit. They be hating on my bone with that shit. They don't like me, cause I'm about to go and get it. They be hating on me, cause they know that I'm with it. I gotta get what I own. Hating on me in my zone. They don't like me, and that's cool. Just stay in the back and leave me alone. Cause I ain't waste time. No, no. I ain't waste no time. Real up. <laughs> like I said, the recording was definitely not the best, but you get the you get the idea of the effect. Like I said, depending on the artist and how you do it and how to actually deliver would definitely dramatically make the effect better or worse. So keep that in mind. So that's what I was. So let's get to the effect and how I did it. Now remember, you had I suggest recording with the auto tone effect. So that means lowering your buffering size of your interface as low as it possibly can go without it glitching and popping and messing up. And you know that way you can have a good indication of what's going on you can you know get it to the best of its ability and get you can make those vocal changes within because when you listen to the auto tone along with your normal voice and hear the effect of doing you can make quick decisions in your vocals to kind of changing it and correct it yourself so that's why i always suggest record with it you can put it afterwards but because you didn't make the choices to fix the auto tone, it's going to sound like it's going to work really hard and struggle and sound all kind of messed up so yes record with the auto tone to get the best effect so i use picture 
Okay, and I, I use Edison to record it. So make sure Edison is the first thing in your vocal chain to record with. If Edison is first, it won't record in the effects. If it is after everything, it will record the effects onto the track, which you don't want because you want to make you want to tweak the effects afterwards. So I use Picture because Picture is a free auto tune effect. Um, I did a video about how to use Picture, so I'm not gonna go into much detail. But what I did was set to the key of the beat, which is C sharp. And the scale is minor, and I use a minimum of 80, 80 hertz. I think that sounds the best, but that just depends on how low the pitch is going to detect of the pitch and try to correct. So when you go way down, it's got more notes to correct. When you go up higher, it has less notes. So I just use 80 because that's where my vocal range sits because I don't have a super deep voice, but I don't have, you know, a thin voice either like most of you little, you know, non-pubescent kids out there. <laughs> you your little, you know, you got to hit puberty, man. Get that, get that bass in your voice. Put them bass in your voice. No EQ. Boom. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's how you do set pitch. And also, I use between a 70 and about, I'll say 70 to 90 would be a good way to go with the with the speed because the faster, the harder the R-tune effect, the slower, the softer, and slower the effect is. But really, that's to taste. So, I really can't tell you what exactly to use, but you just have to play around with that to taste. Remember, faster would be more of a T-pain R-tune effect. Slow would be more of a pitch correction auto-tune effect. So play around that till you get to taste until it sounds right to you. So I'm not even gonna give you the, the number on that one. Just you know play around with that with the speed. And don't worry about nothing else. Next I use hardcore for my distortion. Now yes you could use fruity fast distortion. You can use squeeze. You can use wave shaper. You can use whatever. I use the capitator in my other video because I like the capitator and the sound it gets. The capitator really does distort stuff in a very pleasing and musical way. Unlike a lot of other distortions I use. Right there. But I decided to use a guitar amp simulator simulating um, distortion like hardcore because I feel like, and I should have did this in my other video, but you know, whatever mistakes happen, you learn from them. But I felt like you, you get more of that Travis Scott type of sound when you use kind of a guitar amp sounding distortion instead of just a regular distortion. So I just use hardcore. I use the distortion uh, stomp box that got come in there. I turned the inferno, the glass, and the cone. I turned the, go the cone, the inferno, and the glass down. And I turned the comb up, and then I turned a little bit of distortion in there, about 15, 16, 15. If you look up there, you can see say 15, 16. And then I brought the mix down to about 30. Now, I'm going to play with the mix all the way up. You can really hear it's like it's too aggressive, like it's more guitar distortion and then as I blend it back you actually get to hear how it's more like you can hear like you know more of the Travis Scott type of distortion I guess what I use in the other video I ain't gonna waste no time I ain't gonna waste no time they can talk all of this stuff man just make it the line I ain't waste time no time so I really suggest, you know, playing with that, that uh, mix knob right there to blend in the effect to give, you know, either less effect or more effect. Uh, to me, less of the effect does sound good. Cause I say a little bit of this guitar simulator goes a long way. Like you can really distort stuff with this. But like I said, it's more, it's, it's meant more for guitar, um, guitars like that, lead guitars like that. So, you know, use it at, at your leisure or whatever. But like I said, it's built in FL Studio and it works pretty good. But like I said, you can use fast distortion or wave shape or whatever you want to. Um, there is no rules in that point, but just a little bit of good, a little bit of distortion would definitely be good. And I like the fact that FL Studio comes with that mix knob so you can blend in your stuff. And last but not least, I use a Fruity Reverb 2 because it's the best reverb in FL Studio, in my opinion. It's a pretty good one, too. I mean, a lot of people, I like it. A lot of people use it, and I really like the reverb, too, because it really works, you know. But if you got third-party stuff, why not use that instead? So, yeah, what I did was I brought a little bit of low cut up to about 225 hertz, and then I cut about 2K in the highs because that's what I normally do in all my reverbs. That's just a habit right there. I brought the size all the way up. I left everything else alone, and I brought the wet up just a little bit. It's supposed to be more. It's supposed to be, like, 70 and it's give it like a little bit more space now you can i'm gonna play it without the reverb so you can really hear how dry it sounds until i crank the reverb on there you're like oh it gives that space and ambience and why you should add reverb to vocals just, just a little bit not a whole lot but just a little bit can go a long way so here it is no reverb dry i ain't gonna waste no time i ain't gonna waste no time they can talk all this stuff man just make it the line i ain't waste time no time I ain't waste no time, no time, no time. You you just hear how that space, that ambience, that room, it just gives it, it just gives it a sense of space, and I really do like that effect. Um, reverb is you know one of the plugins I think everybody should be using because I mean you can really shape a sound in very musical ways with reverb. 
especially vocals. Like you can do some crazy stuff, vocal make vocals just have a, a sense of space. So yeah, just fruity reverb too, nothing special like that. And that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much the effect right there. Um, don't worry about the L2 mono. That's just for level, the, so you guys can hear the vocal because it was it was a mix. I had to bring it up so you can hear it. So I just put a limiter at the end. So don't worry about that. You don't need that. That's just there for you know level. But anyway, that's pretty much the effect. Three effects, really. Picture, hardcore, and reverb. So that's what the bass was. Auto-tune, distortion, and reverb. That's that type of Travis Scott type of sound. Um, Of course, you got to do EQ, compression, all that. I didn't want to teach you. I didn't want to show you that because that's depending on the vocal itself. I was just showing you like the vocal effect that I got. Let's say it's not the exact thing. It's very close in my opinion. It sounds very good, but like I said, at the end of the day, it's not the exact thing, but it does get you a pretty cool effect in my in my opinion. And like I said, you guys want to see it being done in FL Studio, which I think if you see it being done in person instead of me saying just take what you learn and put it in FL Studio, you actually see it, you kind of understand, you can actually do it a whole lot better. So I hope you guys take this and you know do your own effects and have fun with it and you know do some amazing recordings. So yeah. But if you have any other vocal requests, like any other vocal effect requests, please let me know. I would be happy to accommodate the best I can, and I would do what I can do to help you out with that. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Like always, you know what it is. It's your boy Slam, a.k.a. Miss Different. Woo! as hell. Not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views. And I'm glad you guys came by once again, like always. And I will see you guys in this video. So have a good one.